Here's a question for you. Did medieval castles have toilets? Well, the short answer is yes, they did. Before we take a look inside, we have to examine what can we spot from the outside of the castle. People put quite a bit of effort into building these. The toilets of a medieval castle usually were built into the walls so that they portrayed out of the wall on corbels and any waste would fall below. Now, depending on the actual location of the castle, the waste could, for example, land straight into the moat, which is quite interesting. Because, of course, we think of moats as this very romantic and nice thing, which, are, which they are today. But if that was the case, then, of course, it was more like a filthy mix of water and waste. It could have some practical implications, though. For example, imagine you are attacking a castle and you have to go through that very filthy moat. Now, if you will get some scratches, which is quite likely, then you could very easily get some sort of nasty infection. Medieval medicine was rather primitive, so that could turn out to be quite deadly. In other cases, in other castles, uh, the waste would land in special pits, which would be emptied by someone called the Gong Farmers, who would in turn go and sell it to the actual farmers as a fertilizer. So you can say that in the medieval period, people wasted nothing. Now, interestingly, these toilets were usually placed quite high above the ground, because in case of a siege, it could be easily exploited. Indeed, we have a record that besiegers used such a latrine shaft in 1203 to gain entry to Chateau Gaillard in France. Now let's take a look how this kind of a toilet looked like inside. These kind of toilets were usually very small and they usually were called a privy or a garderobe. Now, of course, in French, garderobe means basically wardrobe. So why is that? Well, According to some sources I've found, people very often kept their clothing uh, close to the toilet because of the strong smell of urine protected clothing from any kind of bugs. The toilet itself is very simple. It's just a place made out of wood with a hole in it that you can open and do your business there. And that's pretty much it. Now, when it comes to the quality of such a privy, it most likely varied greatly. So there were some privies that were very good quality, actually. Important people usually had their own private privies, so to speak. Like, for example, the lord, the owner of the castle, also some priests usually had that as well. And we are told that these were quite nice. They were probably kept very clean by the staff. Some sources mention fresh herbs being put into the toilet so that they kind of neutralize the bad smell. Of course, on the other side of the spectrum, we have the privies of servants, for example, and they probably were a bit more stinky, so to speak. So there you go. Medieval castles did have toilets.